question, Sergeant Major? Yeah. I think we're becoming a very self-serving Army uh, and NCO Corps, where we're trying to do what we can uh, for ourselves instead of what we can do for the warfighter. Uh, how, are, how are we changing the NCO Corps as far as putting them back to trigger pullers, making those ranges more important? Because right now I see a range as a requirement, not as a necessity. Uh, and I, I think that goes Army-wide to where it's a, let's get on the range, let's get the requirement complete, let's check the block, let's get back. Whereas when I came in the Army, it was a necessity. You need to know how to kill the enemy. Uh, and I think we're moving away from that. Yeah, so that, that is a fantastic uh, question. So um, I, I, I want to attack that one on a couple levels. Um, one, on a personal level. Um, I agree with your sentiment that many that's wearing chevrons is worried about them and not um, do I get grandfather, do I, what do I get, and, and, and etc. that in the world I have to deal with. When they don't really understand, um, I think the secret of being a, a great NCO is truly caring about your soldiers and being an expert with your weapon system you're responsible for, in my case, a tank. Uh, that is what I think uh, really um, gives you, um, that, that's what really should matter. Uh, that's how you gain respect. Of course, respect comes great performance. And I think it's those things that, that get you promoted, not jumping job to job or trying to figure out what the flavor of the month is to, to do that. So I, I, I agree with your point about we as non-commissioned officers need to truly understand it's more about those that we lead than, than us. That's, I think that's the ultimate way that you get commitment uh, from your, your soldiers that you lead. And of course, you've got to lead with competence and character as well. Uh, as far as crappy training, if it's a new doctrinal term, I, I think you're spot on. Uh, we, we, we don't put forth the energy, we, I'm saying now commission officers, some do, I'm not saying all, but we can put, put forth more of an energy to validate that our instructors are ready to go with eight step training model. Uh, back briefs, rehearsals, you know, make sure resources are laid on in a timely manner, train walks. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do to make sure that um, when we have the opportunity to train, it's not a waste of time. Um, and training should never be seen as, oh man, I gotta hurry up and knock this out so, you know, I can, I can get back to garrison. Uh, should be about training to a standard. And uh, it's been my experience as I travel around now, a lot of non-commissioned officers, we've moved away from the standard to what we think is right. And we don't, we're, we don't get into books. We're not subject matter experts. So we do get out there and we try to do training, but it's not planned, it's not resourced, it's not rehearsed. It's against an unknown standard. So we just waste a lot of time. Um, I think we've gotten away from um, the importance of company training meetings, where you as a platoon sergeant, platoon leader, you sit down and you compare notes, and then you go into that company commander, first sergeant with all the other platoon sergeants, platoon leaders, and you say, this is what I need to train my soldiers to be uh, ready for combat. I think we've kind of moved away from that. I think the training meeting has become a brief. Yeah. It's no longer, it's no longer a training meeting. It's no longer discussion across the, the table. It's now, it's now a brief. We're now briefing, you know, med pros and those things, which are import, important. Uh, but our end state is, you know, we're war fighters. We're, yeah. We well, training. it's got to be the balance. And I, I, I kind of agreed with you. Now I got to differ with you. It's kind of got to be a balance because. Uh, you can lay on all the great training, you can go all this work, but if uh, half your platoon is on profile, you know. So you have to have that balance of being physically ready for combat as well. So there, there's a balance. I'm not saying it's not important, but the training meetings should, should in my opinion, should be about training. Uh, and then administrative meetings about who needs to go get shots and that kind of thing. That's kind of like platoon sergeant work. We shouldn't be bogging down a company commander with um, Davenport needs to go get his teeth looked at. My opinion. Agree, Absolutely.